Ohio State's Urban Meyer wants his team and his program to compete at everything. And you better believe he noticed last week that Nebraska drew over 77,000 to their spring game. Today in Columbus, with perfect weather, the Buckeyes look to break their own attendance mark for a spring game, 95,000. And our Buckeye insiders, Mark Koontz and Mike Miller, were among them. They have this report. This is the fourth season that Urban Myers had a spring game, and my, how things have changed. In 2012, they didn't have enough offensive linemen to have two full teams, and it was a much hurried pace to get the team ready for the up-tempo style of football. And now coming off of a national championship, Buckeyes are a little bit more relaxed going into the fourth spring game under Urban Meyer. Spring game begins with the circle drill. Joey Boza and Taylor Decker going head to head. Most of the front line players would only go for a few series. No score in the first quarter. Gray ball to Scarlet 35. Cardell Jones looking for tight end Nick Vanette in the flat. Tyvis Powell jumps the route. He's got a nose for the ball. Interception. Jones would make the tackle on his roommate. You bet those two will be wolfing about that all summer long. Second quarter, Scarlet ball down three. Stephen Collier, the redshirt freshman from Georgia, looking deep for Paris Campbell, but Eric Smith makes the pick first of two interceptions for the Cleveland Glenville sophomore. Later in the second, deep game gets in gear. Jones hits a wide open Corey Smith down the sideline. 58-yard touchdown, Gray up 10-0. Under a minute to go in the half, Scarlett responds. Collier to Terry McLaren, redshirt freshman out of Indianapolis, 35-yard touchdown. It's 10-7 Gray at half. At the half, a little quarterback competition between Jones, J.T. Barrett, and former Heisman Trophy winner Troy Smith. Barrett and his student teammate won the accuracy drill, but the long distance went to Cardell, a 74-yard toss, and he said his arm was tired from throwing it 33 times in the first half. Also at half, Braxton Miller and Ezekiel Elliott in the fastest Buckeye contest. Zeke wins the sprint. Fourth quarter, Scarlett takes the lead with Collier faking everyone out. Little shovel pass to Paris Campbell for the touchdown. 14-10, Scarlett in front, but the Gray and Cardell Jones would have the last laugh. Jones, a 37-yard touchdown to Corey Smith. Gray wins 17-14. Jones, 19-42 for 304 yards passing in front of a record crowd of over 99,000. Uh, you can always work on all areas uh, of your game, but um, things I think I've improved on is like being more of a vocal leader, you know, being more... Um, hands-on with guys, you know, instead of, you know, just telling them what to do, show them and move their splits and, and adjust them and things like that. And I just told our players this, we did not improve as a team. That was not a good team out there. Uh, so we did not improve as a team. And very rarely, um, if you're fortunate with to be healthy and, you know, last year I did because we were so young, I felt like, like we got better as a team because we weren't very good, but you saw them getting better as a team. As a team, that's much worse than what you saw. Um, in January, obviously, uh, but we did individually get better. Mike Miller joins us now, and Mike Urban Meyer basically said if he had to grade this team, it'd be a eh, which starts with an E. So is that between a D and an F? No, uh, I can't answer that <laughs> because I wasn't that great with grades either at some point. But I think the the coach's point, Mark, was simply that it's not as much a collective thing for the springtime for this team where they are. It's more of an individual situation. So many of the frontline guys weren't necessarily hurt, but they were dealing with the limited reps regime that Coach Meyer has instigated. Also, a few guys had surgery. So in that sense, it was almost impossible to even be fair with the grade and they'll, they'll shake down the individual status with the players in the coming days and my sense really there was some progress made with individuals absolutely i mean the spring game it's always difficult to judge a tire team by a spring game if people are split up you've got the injury situation Cardell Jones did pass for over 300 yards, although he was even one to admit that it wasn't necessarily his best game. Yeah, my uh, my impression also that he wasn't maybe ultra sharp. There were guys that were open. He still has a big arm. He looks actually physically a little bit leaner to me, if that's possible. I think for him, though, it's still just a case of growing confidence uh, with that, and I'll have to take the coach's word for it that he had a pretty good spring moving forward. You look at the defensive secondary for the Buckeyes in this game. A lot of interceptions. Gary and Conley did some good job in coverage. And obviously, Tyvis Powell picked off his roommate. They had a good little moment there. But yeah. uh, that is a concern with the 
Armani Reeves no longer playing football and Doran Grant graduated. I, I think the, the DBs look pretty good today. They did look pretty good. Guys that you expect to look good. Cam Burroughs was strong. It appears as though Gary and Conley may have secured the starting spot at the corner opposite Eli Apple, and we know how good he is. And, you know, and I think the safeties are, are pretty deep and pretty good. And there's other guys. Eric Smith played pretty well uh, at the spring game and apparently had a, genuinely a good springtime. So overall, the depth in the secondary is still pretty good. It's just there aren't a lot of names other than the safeties and, and the aforementioned Eli Apple. And that's going to put a wrap on the spring for Ohio State. But the one more thing to do for the 2014 National Champions they're headed to Washington, D.C. on Monday. They're going to meet with the president. They're also going to meet with the uh, congressional delegation from Ohio, and we will have that trip covered. Join us Monday night on WOSN at 10 o'clock for a special Buckeye Insider. We'll be in D.C. with the team. We'll also have much more from the spring game coming up this Monday at 10 on WOSN. Guys, back to you.